So today I'm going to do something different. No hummingbirds, no gardening. My grandson is in a high school performance, a singing part, big part, and I know he loves this certain panda. So I created this bear to add to the rose that I was going to give him at the end of his first performance. A few of you knew that I made this and you wanted to see how I made it, but I am putting on the end his part of the performance so family from all over can see it. So if you don't want to see it, only watch the first seven minutes on how I made the panda. The rest is going to be on his performance at his high school. So family and friends that couldn't make it will be able to get a glimpse of it. So this is the end result, but you're going to see in a second what it started out with. That's what I started with, and I got it at Dollar Tree for $1.25. I don't even know what kind of animal it was, but it looked like what I needed, so I bought it. It's kind of a squishy type of stuffed animal, I guess you would say. And I know it's like a plastic film over foam, and it's kind of, like I said, you kind of squish it, and it's soft. But I think it's going to work for what I want to do. My grandson is in a play called Twelfth Night, a William Shakespeare play, and I'm going to be going to that. And he loves this critter called Panda. Well, I couldn't find anything that would fit with what I wanted to do, so I had to go to the store, and sure enough, when I saw it at Dollar Tree, I thought this was gonna be perfect. Of course, I had to change it. Now, what I'm using here, and I'll explain more about different things as I go, is a plastic type paint. You can get that at any craft store. Just make sure when you buy it that the label says you can use it on plastic or even glass. So I'm using here a gray. Now I know pandas are black and white, but the point is their panda, this one is more of a gray, probably because it's printed on a lot of black t-shirts. So they want to make sure it will still pop. So I'm not sure what this character is. Maybe you know better than me. So I'm going to do the eyes in gray, but I'm going to go back and do the body in black. What I'm doing is more of a caricature of what this is. And this way, when I present it to him, I don't know what he's going to say. I don't know if he's going to be excited or go, what is this? Or who knows? But I'm going to actually give it to him after I see him at the play. It's the first time he's in a play. I've told you the story when I was in Dollar Tree live, roaming around. I can tell you as we paint. This thing, by the way, took me 45 minutes. You're not going to see the whole thing. It's going to be speeded up. He's never done a play, and he has to sing. And they were looking for boys to do the play in his high school. He's in his last year of high school, be going to college soon. And he went and tried out. He went down and said, I heard you want some guys. And they said, yes. And they handed him a script and they said, we're doing a reading today. So is this cute? So anyways, you know, I better tell you and then I can go back to that. I made some mistakes here as I went along because it was hard to see in the picture where the white was and I painted black over white, which I should have left, but it doesn't matter. I've got the paint and I can go back over it and fix it later. Because anything we're going to do now can be fixed. Once it dries, you go back and you can do multiple coats. So real quick, so when they gave him the script, he looked at it and they said, okay, it's a reading, go up on stage. And he goes up on stage and he did the whole thing. And they're just kind of sitting there. Is that not cute? Look, it's changing already. They're all looking at him and going, this was a reading. And he said, yeah. And they said, you were supposed to read it. He goes, well, you handed me the script. They said, but you you just did it. And he goes, yeah, I read it. And I knew he knew, that's how he is. He knew the whole thing by heart. He acted out his entire part. And he doesn't have the lead, but he's got like second or third lead to it. So this is the part he wanted too. And I can imagine what they were thinking. He got this part on the spot. I mean, Come on, you give him a script, he reads it, and then he puts it down, he does the whole thing. So now here I'm doing the eyes. He's just such a funny kid. He's an A student too. Now the eyes is the soul of the character. It doesn't matter if it's a stuffed animal. It doesn't matter if it's a photo. Keep that in mind. You want the eyes to always look nice and clear. Now I've got the eyes done, and we're going to add some white where we need white. And here's the problem. See the pictures? I can't tell where the white was supposed to be in the beginning, but I finally found one where the white was going around. And see the mistake? Well, there wasn't a mistake. It dripped on one of the ears because the ears were different colors and he got a pink nose and the critter doesn't have a pink nose. So that will take 
three or four coats, but once it dries, you can keep coating it. Don't try to coat anything when it's still wet because it just smears. It won't give that solid color. So put it down, let it dry, and this paint dries really quick. Like within an hour, it's completely dry, sometimes even in 15 minutes. So what I did was I decided, well, you must have a small little white belly like that. We'll bring the stripe around. In the meantime, I'm going to touch up the white that was already there on this animal because it may not look the same if I left it white. So this way we kind of touch it up around. We don't have to do the whole thing. And now it looks pretty good. That's exactly the way I want it. Now the eyes. Remember, the eyes are the soul. It's bam. And bam. I'm going to have to say it's perfect. Now, don't get carried away sometimes if you see little imperfections and try to fix it, because sometimes the more you try to fix it, the worse you make it, I have found. Now, I've never used this fabric pen before, and I decided to try it just for the mouth, and I'm not really that pleased with it. It didn't work that good on the nose, but it might be good for something, and I think for detail work, it might be fine. And But I did go back with the plastic paint, and I touched up the nose. Like I said, I was not going to drag you through 45 minutes of painting this, so I really shortened it. But it kind of touched up the mouth. It's not perfect, but like I said, it's a caricature of the panda that he likes. He's known for pandas, and I thought it'd be a lot of fun. And there it is. And that's the pen I used, by the way. It's a fabric pen. Never used it, but it was, it was okay to use on the mouth. I think it looks so cute compared to what it looked like before. Now what I'm going to do, it's nice and dry. I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to try to fix it anymore. I think it's fine. I'm going to attach it to a rose, and that rose I picked up at Dollar Tree. I didn't even know till I was doing this video now. There's a button on it, and the rose lights up. It's got a light inside. Is that not too cool? For $1.25, he's got the panda, and he's got the rose. And I've done this with shoes and stuff, too. My granddaughter entered a contest from the 50s with the poodle skirt and the Oxford shoes that were black and white. I painted those. They were adorable. She did the rest of the costume and she won. Hi, I'm Devins and I play Malvolio in 12th night. So the performance was an hour and a half. I only put his part here from the 12th night, an adaptation of Shakespeare. Sleep. 
He seems to have a foreknowledge of that too, and therefore comes to speak with you. What is to be said to him, lady? He's fortified against any denial. What kind of man is he? Why, of mankind. What manner of man? A very ill manner, not yet old enough for a man, nor young enough for a boy. Let them approach. The honorable lady of the house, which is she? Speak to me. I shall answer for her. Your will. Thank you. 
At last is my right to speak the truth. You must amend your drinking and carousing. And that Andrew friend of yours must go. He's simply uncouth. And he'd say, Count Napoleon. Please forgive my flaws. I'm just a lousy liar.
She did show favor to Cesare in your sight, or to exasperate you, to awaken your dormant soul. I was born great. I didn't ask to be. 
be the best. Things would be much easier being the average like the rest. <laughs> no one has ever understood me. It's nothing really new. In middle school, they locked me in a locker. <laughs> Always picked me last for gym class soccer. I think they were scared because of how virtuous and smart I was. My mom said, don't let the bullies get you down on the folio. You are a very special boy in the folio. Someday they'll all see. So why does no one realize my greatness?
was so much fun. I haven't been to a play since Glenn Close and her sister Tina invited us to see Sunset Boulevard when she was in Los Angeles. That's how long it's been. And we enjoyed ourselves so much that we are going back to see his performance, all of their performance again. They were all wonderful, and it was just great. And it was so much fun. Afterwards, he had a blast. He was so full of energy, and we spent a little bit of time with him before we left. I hope you enjoyed this. With that, have a wonderful day, and don't forget to eat what you grow.